Welcome to Good Shepherd Catholic Church Holy Week series. Today is Palm Sunday, April 5th, 2020. Palm Sunday is the door to Holy Week. In order to understand the significance of this day and make this a truly transformative experience, we have provided a program for you and your family that includes the following components. One, a plan for your day. Two, Lessons for the Holy Day. Three, activities for everyone. Four, prayer for you and your family. Today's Palm Sunday plan. One, prepare palms. Find palms or branches from your yard that you will use for your family activity. Two, dress for the day. Dress your family to attend live mass together. And if you are on your own, prepare yourself as if you were going to Mass at the church. Three, morning prayer. Begin your day in prayer. Pray as a family and include one Our Father and one Hail Mary. Need suggested prayers? You can find morning prayers, consecration of your family to Jesus and Mary, and other prayers on our website. Four, watch Holy Mass. Five, watch the catechesis online. Six, learn about today. The program will explain the lessons for Palm Sunday. After you view the program, you'll have a better understanding of the special day, and it will have greater meaning for you and your family. Seven, read the Holy Bible. You should take a moment to read the scriptures after the program is over. After you review the lessons, the readings will have a greater impact on you and your family. If you are the head of your family, please lead the reading. Eight, activity. Now is your time to apply the meaning of this day in a special and symbolic way. Follow the activities provided for you and your family. It is meant to bring you to a closer relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ and to unite your family in his loving mercy and grace. Nine, prayer. End your day with prayer and as a family, join together to pray for all the graces you have received at this day, for what you have learned and for what you know this day has provided to you, our church and all the world. Today's readings. Let us start this lesson by reading the scriptures for today. We've provided today's readings below and recommend you take time to read all of them, especially as a family, but certainly read the gospel readings. The Gospel According to Matthew. When Jesus and the disciples drew near Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tethered and a colt with her, and tie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, The master has need of them. Then he will send them at once. This happened so that what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to daughter Zion, Behold, your king comes to you, meek and riding on an ass, and on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt and laid their cloaks over them, and he sat upon them. The very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and strewed them on the road. The crowds preceding him and those following kept crying out and saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, we read about Christ's triumphant entry into Jerusalem. The entrance of Jesus into Jerusalem establishes Jesus as Christ the King. Let's take a moment to think about why did Jesus ask his disciples to fetch a donkey? In the scripture that we just read, it states that Christ would arrive, the King would arrive meekly, riding on a donkey. Why a donkey? Because he is the King of peace, not a King of war. So he chose a donkey instead of a battle horse. Why did the people welcome Christ with palms? They gave him a king's a welcome. In those days, the people recognized royalty with palms. They laid down their cloaks and laid down palms. Much like today, we would lay down a red carpet to welcome a person of royalty. Why did the people shout Hosanna to the son of David as he entered the city? That was because the king that was prophesied to come would come from the house of David. So they were recognizing him as the messianic king, the king of glory and the king of peace. Reflection on welcome. Just as the people of Jerusalem welcomed Jesus, today we welcome Jesus into our home, our heart, and our family. We also welcome him as a community. Today, the Good Shepherd family is celebrating Palm Sunday in unity to welcome him into every home. Reflection on joy. We begin Holy Week with the joy of welcoming Jesus into our hearts and our homes. We end Holy Week with Easter, where we again celebrate with joy the knowledge that God's promises are kept with Christ's victory over death. Today we celebrate as the Israelites did. We celebrate as a community, sharing the joy of welcoming Jesus into our hearts and our homes and rejoicing in the victory of his resurrection. We also focus on the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, which is the Passion of Christ. Palm Sunday is also called Passion Sunday. As we began the first gospel with the joyful and triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, in the second gospel, we turn to his sorrowful passion. Because Palm Sunday is the door to Holy Week. Holy Week is the focus of Christ's passion. It allows us to enter into our Lord's journey through his passion, his death, and his resurrection and to walk with him on our own journey, suffering, surrendering, and dying unto ourselves, and relinquishing our sin to be resurrected by the new life that only he can give us. How are we like the people in the crowd who welcomed Jesus? Are we believers of the Messiah? Or are we just following the rest of the people in the crowd? Do I believe in the promises of Christ? Do we truly understand what Christ did for us this special week? Do we understand salvation and redemption? New life means giving up our old life. Christ came to show us how to do that. We choose to give up our life to God. We have to choose between this life and eternal life in heaven. The crowd is not recognizing who Christ really is, the King of Kings, the King of all. Are we just like them, living our lives in a crowd, following the rest of the people 
waving our palms, going through the motions. When I receive communion, do I recognize the true presence of God? Is Jesus Christ truly king of our lives? Does he own us? Have we surrendered to him? Does he rule the choices that we make? If we truly believe, we know Jesus came for more than just to save us, but to redeem us, to pay for our sins. There is nothing that we can do to redeem ourselves, to redeem the graces that we lost because of sin. Only Jesus can return us to God. The meaning of Holy Week. Reflection. On Palm Sunday, we enter Holy Week with Christ. This is our call to walk with him, to do more than participate in the rituals or simply being moved by his suffering. We are called to partake in his passion in order to be converted by his sacrifice. This is our time to surrender ourselves to Christ. We surrender to Jesus when we unite ourselves to his passion when we carry our cross with him, when we walk the path to our own suffering and sacrifice, and in our repentance, we surrender our sins in order to die with him on the cross as we die to self. Because through his resurrection, we attain new life in his victory over death. Christ redeemed us all and gave perfect glory to God principally through his paschal mystery. Dying, he resurrected our death, and rising, he restored our life. Therefore, the Easter Tritum of the Passion and Resurrection of Christ is the culmination of our entire liturgical year. Reflection Resources. As Catholics, we don't always go to the fountain of truth when seeking knowledge about our faith. Please make it a priority to obtain the following books if you don't already have them. These are the sources of authentic magisterial teaching of the Catholic Church. The Holy Bible, the New American Bible, Catechism of the Catholic Church, Roman Catholic Daily Missal, We've also provided a couple of links where you can get additional information. Thank you. This completes the lecture portion of our program. Now we move on to the fun activities. So now we've come to the activity portion of our program. We have some wonderful activities for your whole family to enjoy. First is the Palms activity. Our Archbishop, and our Holy Father have asked everyone to place palms on our doors. For those of you who are on this presentation, we're going to take you directly to the video that will explain this palm exercise. Please bless your palms first using the prayer listed. If we were at church today, this is the prayer that the priest would have used to bless the palms. Almighty God, we pray you bless these branches and make them holy. Today, we joyfully acclaim Jesus, our Messiah and King. May we reach one day the happiness of this new and everlasting Jerusalem by faithfully following him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Welcome. My name is Sandra Fancher and this is Dawn. We're parishioners of Good Shepherd, and we're gonna do an activity for Palm Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God forever. The response is, blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. We have been getting ready for five weeks of Lent for this week's celebration. Today we start the celebration. Together with the whole church, all over the world. Christ came to his city to suffer, die, and rise again. So we remember this entry and follow him. Let us pray. We now raise our branches high. 
Lord, make our faith stronger and listen to our prayers. Today we honor Christ, our King, by carrying these branches. May we honor you every day by living always in him, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God of healing, as we begin this Holy Week, we ask that you help our family and families all over the world who are put out of their normal routines. We pray especially for those who are sick. We ask that you bring healing and peace to them and their families. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We now bless our fronds, our palms, with water from Lourdes and our statue and our state, our house. May God bless us always. May God bless you, Don, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, we're going to sing Hosanna as we enter and lay palm fronds through our house in joyful remembrance of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem and entry into our home and into our hearts. We open the door into Holy Week. Hosanna, 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 in the eyes, Hosanna, 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 in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, 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 in the highest, Hosanna, 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 in the highest. We begin with the Our Father. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. This is another activity that we have for Holy Week. We have an altar prayer space. And this is something that um, I always have try to have a, an altar, a space in my home where I can pray and where I can dedicate um, certain prayers, at asking for intercessions from um, the Virgin of Guadalupe, for instance, um, and praying for my mother and praying for my CCD children who wrote me this pretty um, paper. Um, and then the things that are um, sacred or important to me, like my mustard seeds from the Holy Land, um, my the Passion of Christ, and my Bible, the things that help me in my prayer life. So this is one activity, if you don't already have a prayer space or altar, you can make one. It doesn't have to be this elaborate. You can just have a crucifix and a statue of the Virgin Mary, your Bible, a rosary, a candle is nice. Um, but it's just a space for you and for your family. We have a few more activities. Um, there's easy small ones that we did, uh, like painting the rocks, Hosanna, with a, 
like they're shouting, like in the scripture that we read, the, the rocks would shout to Jesus if the people were not. And we also have another activity that's for children, but it's nice for adults too. We have a heart. This represents uh, opening our hearts to Jesus, making him feel welcome in our homes and in our hearts, and opening the door to Holy Week. So on the inside of the heart, we want to put everything that we want to have in our hearts to make Jesus feel welcome there and to stay and live in our hearts. And then on the outside of the heart, we want to put everything that does not belong to Jesus, things that we need to remove from our hearts and put them outside. So uh, this is actually a really good um, uh, thing to think about for our Lenten experience, the things that we have committed to doing that uh, maybe we haven't done or haven't been too successful at. So it's nice to review what we want to do for Lent and what we want to do for the rest of our lives and put it in our heart. So Dawn, what is it that you uh, were planning to give up or do for Lent? I was giving up saying the last word, which means not talking back to anybody. Uh huh. And for Lent, I was actually going to do more reading. More reading. Okay, so that's good. So you can have in your heart more reading and um, uh being um, obedient to your parents and uh, people that you would normally talk back to. Mm -hmm. And on the outside, you can put talking back to people and the things that you were giving up. I think I also need to do that. I need to do more reading. So I'm going to make a drawing of the Bible because I need to spend more time reading my Bible. There's my Bible. And um, I also need to spend more time praying. So I'm going to do a rosary here. And um, in order to do more praying and do more reading, we need to give up some things, Dawn. What are you going to give up so that you can do more reading? Well, I'm going to give up. Actually, I'm going to give up my phone for two hours before my bedtime. Excellent. Okay, so you can draw a picture of your phone on the outside of the heart. I think I probably should do a little bit of that too because I like to play my games on my phone. And uh, I need to give up some stuff. So here are my apps, my games and all of that, and my cell phone. I need to give up. That looks a little bit like a remote control too, so maybe I should also put up here some, some giving up some TV time. There we go, TV. Um, I need to give up quite a few things to make time for my Lent. And what is it? Um, can you tell me what you're what you're drawing? Oh, that's the phone. the phone. I see you're looking at what your phone looks yeah. like and trying to draw a good picture. <laughs> And uh, I want some things to grow in my heart. So I think I'm going to draw a candle to increase the light of Jesus here in my heart. And I'll draw a flame and a candle. The things that will make my heart grow. Peace, love, love. Okay, so I need to increase my love not only for Jesus, but for others. So I will draw another heart inside my heart. And hopefully this heart will grow. I'll make it expand here. Let's say I want this to grow. <laughs> so, and what else? What, what else do you, are you drawing? I'm going to draw a TV. Uh huh. So I can also have more time to go to bed. Mm hmm. So what's that one there? To, um, I'm going giving up staying awake at night. Okay, so a little bit more sleep. Yeah. Extra sleep. Okay. And you were talking about being obedient. Um, I remember you said that you wanted more um, love and, and peace, right? So you can uh, put that in your heart. 
um, fighting less, you said. And um, talking about obedience, I have that trouble too, being obedient because I have an ego and I also have vanity that I don't want to admit how old I am. I have vanity. And, and so it's hard for me to be obedient when they tell me to stay inside. So I need to be more obedient too. That's my problem too, because I have an ego. So I'm gonna put ego here and I'm gonna draw a picture of my car. There's the car, the windshield, the wheels, because I know I should be staying at home more. And they tell me that, but I'm not being very obedient because I have a trouble with my ego and with my vanity. So this is my heart some of the things that I want to give up and some things I want to increase to make Jesus feel welcome in my heart and to make space for him to live in my heart. And you want to show us your heart? Sure. You can tell us what they are. Oh, those look like balloons, huh? Uh -huh. So inside my heart is a book and a little book for con, a little heart for love, and I love to party, so I put little balloons for parties. Yes, because we are having a celebration today. We are celebrating Jesus, and this is a very joyous day of having Jesus come into our hearts and into our homes and opening the door to him. Excellent. That's a very good point. I like that a lot. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, and one more thing. As an adult, um, we can take this and use this to kind of do that analyzing, that self introspection to figure out what is it that we're doing and not doing and need to improve so that we can use this to decide how to write our prayer. Because as an adult, um, that's the activity that we should be doing is writing our prayer of what it is that we are asking God to do. So we praise him, we thank him, but we also, um, want to ask him for more help and more virtues to grow in our heart so that we can do all of these things to become more like him. Amen? Amen. Amen.